Didn't know if I was going to bring this topic up yeah. ever in the history of Washington Week, but we are talking about Nicki Minaj. Yes. Um, who is, for those ask. at home, a, a famous rapper who yes. this week tweeted about um, just some disinformation, which is she claimed that her friend, her cousin's friend, yes. became impotent because he got the COVID vaccine. Of course, scientists say that this has, that the vaccine has nothing to do with impotency. It does not cause that, does not have any issues with fertility as well. They've said that over and over again. But you also covered the California race where COVID yes. disinformation was part of that. It's California. It's a very blue state. But what what does that, that that state tell us about the game plan for Democrats and Republicans? Well, I think in blue and purple states, it tells us that Democrats are going to try to exhume the political ghost of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And he may be out of office, but they're going to try and keep, the keep him on the ballot the yeah. best they can. Mm -hmm. um, you saw Gavin Newsom do that. Look, I, I think his challenge this summer was not that he was in real danger of being recalled because the, the sort of moderates in the state turned on him. It was the fact that the Democratic majority in the state was kind of still asleep. Mm. Well, guess what? He woke up them up because he was able to put a face on the recall, Larry Elder, who was a kind of... um even like pre-Trumpian talk show radio host who had like a, a, you know, like 10 mile wide oppo file of like comments he had made over 25 years in on talk radio, like running in a deep blue state. Like if you can't beat him and California, like turn in your car as a Democrat, man. Including but, the fact know? that Larry Elder at one point said that reparations should go to slave owners. We don't have time for that because yes. it's too much. <laughs> I want to go zero. talk to you. You touched it on it a bit, but, yes. but Representative Gonzalo is retiring. Yes. Says what about the road ahead? Are there really nine more to go? Because yeah. the, and we're talking about right. nine because they're the nine Republicans who voted to impeach right. President Trump. Yes, so I, I think he is likely not going to be the last uh, of, of those 10 to call it a career. It's not clear to me who or when the others um, who will step forward. Keep in mind one other factor that's driving this, reapportionment. A lot of these House members, not a lot, all of them basically, don't know what their seats are going to look like next year. And I think that's the kind of thing that can, that can solidify your decision to, uh, to um, call it quits. But... I think this is an important moment politically. I cannot recall a midterm in one party that was going to be more clarifying. This this puts the sort of Tea Party versus establishment stuff from 10 years ago to, uh, to shame. I think next year, the question of can any of these anti-Trump folks in the GOP, mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. they survive? Mm -hmm. And if they can, it calls into question what kind of clout President Trump still has in the primary of his own party. If he's able to run the table and beat all of them where, where he he's endorsing, clearly still his party.